Well, hello there, and welcome to Soar and Roar. This is great. It's the third time I've been involved with this, and each year it just gets bigger and bigger, raising money for intellectually disabled kids. It's really great for them in their Special Olympics that they do. And this year, the turnout of bikes is absolutely amazing. It's great to see. What we're going to do is go for a blast around Easter Creek, which is always great. And we've been told to do it kind of sedately. Yeah, that's going to happen. Anyway, I better get my bike and get out there, eh? Well, Saw and Roar again. Can you believe it? It's the third one. And, and the boss man of Saw and Roar is this man. Uh, John, we've been involved with this for three years now. Uh, how did you first come up with the concept of this? Look, um, Fran Eustace from Special Olympics Australia went to visit a similar event in America and she really got a good feel for it in terms of community participation and um, the ability to raise funds but to give the athletes just a tremendous day because um, I think what you pick up as well is, is the athletes actually feel safe in this environment. It's, a, it's an enclosed environment and they own it for the day. And to me that was the most powerful thing. And, um, and then the support of all of the community, so the motorcycle riders, the car owners and riders and um, you know, like we just, we just seem to hit it off and um, have it low key but effective. It's an amazing turnout. It looks like double the bikes from last year. Well, it's absolutely more than double the bikes. So um, last night we had well over 250, I think, and it's raising significant funds so that athletes can participate in dance and um, sport on a weekly basis. But we intend to build it as a, an International Day of Disability in the Western Sydney. We're really still growing it, and we thank you for your continued support and just the, the person that you are. Oh, well, thank you. And I'll just point out, John isn't actually this tall. He's actually standing on, standing on. Actually, he's, he's standing on a step. I just want to yeah. say, just to get that. John, you are you are tall in stature, and and in a, in my opinion, a fantastic man. One of the great ambassadors for Saw and Raw is Superbite Supremo, Troy Bayless. And I'm just saying that because Kevin McGee could probably hear him somewhere. Troy, thank you for being uh, part of this. How long have you been uh, involved in Saw and Raw for? This is my uh, first time down here, um, but I'm really honoured to be part of this event and uh, to lead the bikes this morning with a lap of uh, Eastern Creek was pretty special. And uh, so many bikes and cars and so many different sort of types of beasts as well. It's pretty cool. It, it must be hard for you going around Eastern Creek and not wanting to gas it. <laughs> Yeah, someone said that was probably the slowest lap you've done, but I, I think I've probably had to walk back a few times when I've crashed here in the past. So yeah, like I say, it's still very nice to, to do a lap around here and it's great to um, support this event. And it's great to meet some of the athletes as well because they truly are amazing, amazing people, aren't they? Yeah, incredible. I've met a few guys today and uh, they're all really nice and they love it. Another champion that we've seen at uh, Saw and Raw this time around and he's been involved with it for about three times now is Kevin McGee. Kev! Great to get out to the Saw and Raw Festival here at Sydney Motorsport Park. Uh, great thing just to see the, the looks on the guys from the Special Olympics faces after they go for a thrilling car ride or whatever. It's just brilliant. Did you, you didn't put any of them on the back of your bike, did you? No, I was, I was more scared than they were. Right, yeah. Well, mate, it's always good to hang with you. Thank you for being part of Saw and Raw again, Kev. Good on you, Jonesy. Thanks. Well done. Shiny side up. Yep, always.